So this is called a hive tool. And what you do is you use this to pry off stuff because the bees make propolis, which helps to glue things together. Okay, so right now we're just gonna move this one. We're just gonna set them down gently. Try not to squish them. Mm -hmm. so we're just gonna try and pry this off. See how hard this is stuck on here? Yeah, it's like super sticky. Right. And just take that off, nice and gently like. Place that over here. Are they swarming me? Oh my god, they're swarming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna take a couple of frames out of here to see what it looks like. Can you see this honey? Mm -hmm. See the honey right there already? So they're already almost filled this box up, so it's a good time for us to move on to the next box. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna see if I can pull just one of the frames out so we can take a look at it. Okay. And this is why you need the hive tool, because things are pretty squished in there. And sticky. And they're a little sticky, yes. So, so wow, well, we're gonna just lift this up so we can take a look at it. Kind of heavy, right? Yeah. It's heavy because there's honey in it. I don't want to squish one of them. Yeah, so what you want to do is kind of hold it from the ends. Like you want to hold it over here and down at this end. Okay, can you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're just going to flip it up a little so you can see. See all that gle gleaming stuff in there? Mm -hmm. That's all honey. Mm -hmm. And all this uh, browner stuff in here, that's pollen. So the bees get both honey and pollen, okay, and they fill this all up. So I mean, we're we're very full are in this box. Them, are, are some of them dead? Are some of them dead? I don't know. Um, there's like one sticking. There's one like sticking, like that's cut in, and I haven't seen it move. Oh, you know, they're probably just either um, putting more honey in there, or they're maybe working on the cell. Um, now some of the bigger bees in here, like this one, it's bigger and brownish. Mm -hmm. That's a drone, which means it's a male, okay? And the males, uh, the only job they have is to be fed by all the other worker bees and to mate with the queen. Mm -hmm. Now this one's really big, so it would almost be the size of a queen, but the queen's gonna be even bigger than that one. Mm -hmm. So we are going to set this back in carefully. So you're just gonna slide it back in the way you took it out, just very gently, and try not to squish any bees while you do it. Yep, you got two sides here. Just slide it in real slow. You slide it in slow. Yeah, you'll have to get your finger out of the way. I'm trying not to kill them. That's nice of you. Okay. They appreciate that. Wait, beads, go back yeah, in. Yeah, they'll, they'll go back in, so that's no, not a problem. So we're just going to move this frame back to where it was. Just gonna slide this hive tool in there. They like having things return back to the way it was before. Okay, so normally we would have like taken all this stuff out and taken a look at it to see how the queen's doing, but there's so much stuff and they have this so filled up that I think I'll be doing more harm than good by taking it out and ripping it all apart and everything. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is just put the box on top right away and let them keep going because I can see the hive is doing really well. They're, you know, they're making lots of comb, they're filling the frames, they're finding nectar and uh, pollen and everything else. So I feel pretty good about how they're doing. I mean, you could maybe next time when we're in here and if it's not such a hot day, we will um, come in here and look for the queen and you can see what the queen looks like. How's, how's that sound? Okay. We'll do that on another day. and. She'll maybe move up and then we'll have a few less frames and we won't be busting so much stuff apart. Aren't we like replacing something? something? Uh, we are going to put a new box on here. It's a, it, these, these bigger, thicker boxes are called brood boxes, you know, because they're a little deeper and they give the bees more places to store honey and pollen. Now you see all these bees are all fanning themselves like mm -hmm. this. What they're doing is cooling off the hive, like an air conditioning system. They're like fans. Or like Kyle's Big Red, you know, that's that's your mm -hmm. extra fans in there. And then they're also trying to dry the, the honey that I kind of disrupted a little bit because it was a little wet. 
So they're doing that too to help um, reduce the humidity and kind of dry it off a little more. So when we place the new box on it, we'll just kind of push them a little bit out of the way so we don't squish them. All right. Mm -hmm. The queen and a lot of the bees tend to go into the middle more than the sides. Mm -hmm. So now that the sides are very full like this, it really is an indication that they are ready to, uh, they, they could have uh, swarmed out of this beehive soon because they're nearly full. Okay, so that's a lot of bees. Now, let's see if we can get this end picked up for you. I'll let you slowly lift it up. We'll see if the queen is on there. So you want to always hold it above the hive, right? So in case she is on there, she would just go back in. Mm -hmm. We're just going to tip this up a little bit. I think I see her in the middle, kind of. Yeah. To see the that right? one right there? Where? To the right. Um, I, I lost track. Uh, there are some, let's see, there's a big one right there. Uh, oh, is she right there? This one? No, I don't think so. What about that? No, what about the one uh, in the middle? I don't think that's her either. She'll have a longer body, I think, than mm. that. So she might be on some, a different thing. Yeah, but here what you're looking at on these cells, see how they're all capped up like mm -hmm. that? Yeah. These are called brood cells, and if you look further in, it's a little hard for you, Becca, but there's low, but it's white inside of there. Mm -hmm. Those are baby bees. Yeah. They've, they've started out as eggs, and now they're like little nymphs, almost like caterpillar-type things. So they keep feeding those little nymphs, the little baby bees, until they get big enough, and then they cap the cells. So all these ones here are capped cells. So in another seven days or so, brand new bees are going to emerge from all of these capped cells. And the glossy stuff is like them kind of making honey? The glossy stuff is honey, yeah, that they feed the little baby bees. That's how they feed them with that. So they'll give them some food from there. And so, I mean, like, like I said, this frame is, and this hive is doing very well, that there's lots of honey in here. They've got brood, which means... The queen is alive and well, so even if you can't find her, the fact that there's all these different frames. Mm -hmm. So what is this large thing then? Is it, that like a... This could potentially turn into a queen cell. I, I don't think it is right now. Lots of times the queen cells are down here on the bottom, or else these bigger ones like this are drone cells. Okay. That a drone would come out of that. Like a queen cell would be really big here towards the bottom too. And if you find those, it means um, you know, there, there's a possibility that another queen's going to be born. <clears throat> it usually just means she's going to leave the hive and fly off of there. So it's doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. Now let's just flip it back the other way and see if there's... Okay, how do you... I don't know. Figure it out. How are you going <laughs> to turn that? Am I crushing a bee if I do this? I don't think so. Uh... Let's see how you do this. <laughs> Why don't you grab one of the ends? That's yeah, better if she figures it out. And just keep oh, holding right. it over the hive oh, right, just in right. case there's a queen on there. But here, there now she this. Is right there. Not her? And Where? Oh, right there? Uh, I don't think that's her yet either. But I was going to show you this right here. Okay, this right here. Now that's the start of like a queen cell. That's got to be her then. That probably Where? looks like her. This Maybe this bigger one over here? No, nah, that's still, I don't think it's her. That doesn't have a big enough elongated body yet. I think she'll look she'll look a lot like that, probably a darker color, but have a much longer butt. So I'm just gonna turn that so Kyle can see it a little more. I like these bees because they are super gentle. I mean we've got this thing open for a good five, six minutes already and they're just very mellow, aren't they? Yeah, mm -hmm. they are. They're not attacking us or anything else. I don't see the queen on this frame. This would be a likely frame, though, because you saw the, the larva on the yeah, other see, side. Yeah, look at this one by my thumb. Yeah. Like he's just like... Yeah, he's just kind of gathering up some nectar, or he's either depositing it, or he's picking some up so we'll go visit the, uh, the other cells and feed the little baby bees. That's usually what they do with it. You know, it's either storage or feeding at this point. So are these other like bigger bees drones then? Yeah, those are those would be drones. And there's a fair amount of drones in a hive, probably 15, 
our drones and okay. like I said they don't really have a good purpose <laughs> they, they, they eat a lot they don't contribute to uh, like making they don't go out and fly and gather nectar they don't go out and gather pollen they just basically feed Are and you sure that's mate. Not the green? Mm. I feel like that one looks really big that one right there no, he's talking about this one here. right here. Yeah, well, I guess compared to the other ones there, they all kind of look the same. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that's her yet. Do you think you could move it back so I can get a shot inside, like the... Oh, okay, out of the way here. Yeah, to that right there. Lots of times the queen, if you, when you find her and you hold it out like this, she's kind of running to hide. She doesn't like being exposed, so she'll kind of keep running and move elsewhere. Okay. So I, I don't think we've seen her yet. Just ease it in there and then kind of get out of your way. So, you know, I mean, I, I know you try and avoid crushing any of them or anything and especially if you don't know if there's a queen on there or not you want to definitely be real gentle this looks like a baby bee just got born or there's something real white about it there's something right there it's see that one something weird about that one i don't yeah. think i see it yeah i like feel like i'm stuck okay see, there's something going on with this one right here like that one's either a sick one or it was attacking it or there was some reason why it was getting it out of there i don't know if it was a baby it didn't look like a baby because it was pretty big hmm. it does have to go all the way oh dong it's oh, in now. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna drop in these these frames. Into it. So it's pretty easy now because there's nothing really going on. So, so. is this just get them more? Like, it's gonna give them more space. So if you want to make sure that this sits down in there, you just double the size of the hive. Correct. So I'll let you put put them in there. So could there be any side effects from adding this? Like, could it uh, affect the temperature to a point where, you know, something could change? Um, not, not really. Like it I mean, won't get too cold or anything like that? No, not anymore, especially at this time of the year, now that it's warmed up. How does it uh, feel to be in the hazmat suit there? Good, because now I'm protected, <laughs> just in case they don't like me. Uh -huh. They seem to like you. Like I said, I, I feel like these bees are maybe the most docile bees I've ever had so far. This is my first time coming up by this hive. Well, by any of the hives, uh -huh. like up close to it. I really like this one. Like right this, is, this stuff right here, this is propolis. So, uh, this is very expensive. People use this for health benefits. So they actually harvest some of the propolis right from the hive and then they'll sell this. It's, uh, I don't know, I want to say it's like $90 a pound or something like that. Wow. It's like a ridiculously expensive amount for it. They use it kind of like glue to glue everything together. So, okay, here you go. <clears throat> you ever have to scrape the the combs out of um, those like yeah you, they you, get bad? you can if you want to scrape it out either way you know um because they'll just remake it yeah they'll either remake it or whatever else so it's it's kind of up to you you know you can scrape it out or leave it so some people will scrape it out and then they'll like all this honeycomb or this this is a lot of some of it's honeycomb some of it's propolis but they'll melt it all down and then they'll make hand lotion beeswax hand lotion 
other things like that. They, they did that once in class. So this is more propolis than anything. Though. Now we're going to put this back on. It's the excluder because we don't want the queen getting out. So this goes back on top of here. We don't really even need this sugar anymore because the bees are already pretty well on their way. So we're just going to remove this whole thing of sugar. If they happen to get a little sugar on them, that won't hurt them. Right now, the way these bees seem to be going, they've totally filled that bottom brood box. Hopefully they'll fill the second brood box and then this would be where you would have your honey frame and they would fill this up and that's where you would have your surplus honey. So, I don't know. So far, so good. Like I said, they seem to be very healthy and everything else at the moment.